Hey Home Church, it's Pastor Nate and as you can see I'm just getting off of work but I wanted to bring to you today's scripture of the week. If you've never done this with us before, we pray through different scriptures throughout the week. We journal them, we write them down, we pray them out loud as reminders of God's promises and love that are available to us. They not only remind Him, but they remind us that what we have access when we're in relationship with Him. I encourage you to do this with us. Come on this journey with us. Grab the Read Scripture app. Read through the daily readings with us as a community. Grab the Home Church app, Home Church 217, anywhere you download apps. Come look at the media. Come listen to the videos. You're probably watching this either on Facebook or YouTube or our website. Come grab our app. There's a messaging group at the very top right corner where you can learn more about Home Church. You can find a group that you want to connect with or just have people to pray with you and walk through life with you and support you in every way possible. I want to turn your attention to Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. Again, we've talked about this for a little bit now, but this time of the year can be a very trying time for some people. I'll just expose myself just a, a little bit in this area, but my family went through some tremendous losses many years ago. I think it's been seven or eight or 10 years now. You kind of lose track of time, but we lost two very dear people to our, our family uh, in a very close amount of time. One of them being uh, my little brother who passed away at 24 years old uh, after an accident on Thanksgiving Day. And so this time of the year always brings with it these feelings and emotions of loss and who's no longer here with us. And I'm not alone in feeling that. And neither are you if this is a, a mutual feeling that you too experience. This can be a tough time. I know it's tough for my mom. It's tough on our family. We still hang an ornament for my little brother on our tree every single year just to remember him and remember his memory. And I want you to know that there is a God who loves you and he understands these emotions. He too faced loss. He, he lost people in his life that even as a man made him emotional. It made him cry because he was fully man and also God. And in these moments of despair, anxiety, pressure, stress, or, or loss like my family, we know that there is a God who has peace available for us. I'm going to put it on the screen, but hopefully you've made it there. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 and it says this you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you the peace of god is available to us when we trust in him when we put our minds on him our direction our ideas everything is going and flowing through the filter of jesus then our mind is on his promises our mind is on his goodness our mind is on his redemptive power for not only me, my family, but my emotions and, and my inner heart, that God has a peace that passes all understanding, that can come into our lives, that can sweep into our homes, and that can comfort us whenever we need it. And that is access whenever our minds are in and on Jesus Christ. Because when we are putting our minds on Him, our trust is in Him. And when we trust in Him and we give Him everything, then this peace over floods our lives. It doesn't mean that these emotions go away. And it's not some spiritual or religious band-aid that we put on things. Sometimes we still need real help. We still need people to walk through it, to pray through it. We still need counseling and we still need professionals to help us process through some of the pain and some of the loss that we've experienced. But His love is still there. His strength is still there. His peace is still there supporting us as this safety net, as this foundation that's lifting us up whenever we need it the most. So again, not a spiritual band-aid, but definitely this idea of a foundation that God has laid down with His peace is just always there supporting us, that gives us the strength to make it through those intense moments whenever we're feeling these real emotions. I hope this encourages you. I hope that this blesses you. And I hope that you pray this with us, that his peace is available and our minds are set on him because we trust in him. Praying this over the I'm praying this with you. I'm praying this for you. I'm 
praying it for myself. Let's lean in to this scripture that we find in Isaiah. And let's pray this together as a community. We also would love to meet you. Come hang out. Metairie or Destrahan, you can find all about our two in-home worship experiences through our website, homechurch217.com or our app, Home Church 217 Home Church apps, anywhere that you download apps. Come join us. Come hang out with us. If you're new to the page, subscribe, like it so that you can get all the updates that come out every week and come on this journey. Come meet the people. I think you're going to enjoy the meals. You're going to love the people and you're going to find a community that believes in you and is here to support you. Can't wait to be with you next time. Until then, praying for you. God bless. <music>